Hello, my siblings in Christ. I am Boya, and aren't we all just so tired of all the sea of content? This one included, seriously. Every minute of every hour of every day, we are literally flooded over by endless streams of notifications and new content we are supposed to devour. I can already hear you. Oh man, not another one of those live in the moment and switch off videos. And you'd be right. It is precisely that kind of video. It is no secret that the majority of us can't watch all the content that we want. I once wanted to watch a Netflix show. Horrible, I know. Then Netflix popped another show. And another, and another. You know those photographs that are meant to guilt trip you for having zero to one kids? Well, Netflix is popping out those shows just like that, like there's no tomorrow. And they're not the only one. I realized that I'd need to clone myself many times over to consume everything I wanted, notwithstanding the issue that what one clone watches won't be seen by other clones. I not only have to become many clones, I'd have to become a hive mind in that. You have shows and movies you want to watch, but you can't. You buy books that ultimately only end up collecting dust on the shelf. And I know that not all of my 30k subscribers watch my videos. Ah, the curse of that one viral video. And that is okay. The content we watch is increasingly banal. People stopped reading to watch TV, then they moved over to YouTube, and as soon as something even more banal came along, namely TikTok, they started watching that. Remember the forums of yore? Nah. Let's limit it to 140 characters and actively make people argue. This is of course a simplified overview. Even when books were practically the only content you could consume, a lot of people didn't, because they couldn't or simply did not want to. But now, things are different. And in the midst of this sea of utter banality stands the mighty church, and it calls us to something better. Some of you might say, but church is boring. And you know what? Thank God it is. Because the best things in life aren't there to entertain you. Eating a burger feels good, but broccoli is good for you. Watching videos is entertaining. Working out and prayer aren't. Entertainment is the worst way to attract someone to anything. The church is there to bear that precise witness. Christ or God alone can give us a sense of purpose. Anything else will deprive us of our time and chip a minuscule fragment of our sense of purpose away. With enough time, you will start to wonder. Why do anything at all? Because your life and our sense of purpose were drained by the sea of banality. Church may not be the most fun thing around, but it is the sole thing that can, through the grace of the Holy Spirit, give you that one thing we all solely lack. Purpose. Fear of missing out is real, but it is based on one simple premise, that the amazing experience we supposedly missed out cannot be overdone by something greater. And it can and it will be, for the Lord can and does lead us unto better things. Of course, there are secular ways to escape the sea of banality. Do sports, read quality literature, do activism, all great things. But sadly, these things are mere flotsam in the sea of banality. They give you an impression that you're hanging on to something, but you're adrift just as you were before, because even the best secular book in the world cannot grant the sense of eternal purpose. You will be inspired, but the charm will fade away. Once you're gone, no great classic will revive you. The Holy Fathers opposed with vehemence circuses and hippodromes and theaters, not because they hated the culture, but because they saw clearly with their spiritual sight that we are no better than magpies who are easily led astray by shiny things, majority of which are bad for us. It might seem like we are collecting pretty shiny things to decorate our nests, but in fact we are stuffing ourselves dead with microplastics. We daydream about the things that are banal at the expense of things that truly matter, like God, or things that are important but not entertaining, like our household chores or work or whatever. So do not worry about your unread books and unwatched shows. 
The best thing in life is right there, just outside of your heart, and he is knocking to be let in. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe so you can watch even more of my super fun, happy, jolly videos on yay subjects that are wow. Bye!